This is K9WLW again with another video, again featuring the ICOM ID51. Uh, more fun with D-Star features. In my last video, I uh, showed the step-by-step -step programming on the radio to allow you to program your hotspot frequency into the DR memories. I wanted to give another demonstration. Uh, this is more or less a unique feature to the ICOM radios. Uh, not only does it apply to the ID51, but these uh, concepts are also going to apply to the ID31 and to a great extent to the ID5100, ID4100, and for D-Star features, I believe even the IC9700. Again, uh, what the topic today is, is inputting your favorite commands for linking to various reflectors and or repeaters and other functions. Um, the way that these radios are programmed out of the box, and this is an ICOM thing, this really doesn't necessarily apply to the Kenwood D-Star radio that I've had in other videos. Um, most of us, I now I think, have gotten accustomed to jumping around the reflectors and so forth. So I'll just do a quick overview of that. Uh, of course, everyone's familiar with the to and the from field when you're in the DR mode or digital repeater mode. And here you can see my hotspot is in the from field, and I have used reflector in the to field. Uh, when you're on a hotspot or on a repeater, you pretty much do all of your action in the two field. And that's where you command and control where your radio will connect to. Um, to enter the two field to look for other options, you hit the blue enter key. And you'll notice the two select menu comes up. You have a local CQ, which you do not use unless you're on a local repeater and you do not want any audio going out over the gateway. Um, that's really the only reason to use local CQ. Um, if a local repeater is connected to a reflector and you and another station are both using local CQ, you can talk on the repeater, but everyone on the reflector is not going to know you're there because the local CQ has a different uh, configuration. You have the CQ, CQ, CQ in the UR field, which we're all used to. You have your, uh, your R1 or RPT1 with your call sign, and then the module. I use module D for my hotspot. Uh, I explained that in great detail in my previous video on programming your hotspot for uh, in your DR memory. But you'll notice the R2 field is not used. So when you use local CQ, the R2 is not used. When you're on use reflector CQ CQ, the R2 has your call sign followed by the letter G. That's the magic information, if you will, that commands uh, your data and audio to go out over the internet gateway. So as a result, in the local CQ, it is not used. There's really nothing of use in there. It might as well be blank. So you can never use your local repeater and get out over the internet gateway with local CQ. Uh, Personally, I don't think there's really much use for local CQ. I think it's kind of a problem because sometimes newer amateurs will inadvertently put their radio in local CQ and think they're on CQ, 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 use reflector. They'll answer a call on a local repeater that's coming in over the gateway from a reflector or even a, another repeater linked in. And they'll hear the other station, they'll reply. The other station won't hear them because of this little bugger here, the R2 not used. It's like a break in the link or a broken link in the chain. It does not pass. I will show you what it looks like when you're in use reflector. 
you hit the CS button and hold it and that shows you the four configurations. You obviously have your my call which is your own call with whatever you have after the slash. I put ID 51 on this radio. Some people put their name and so forth. But you'll notice the CQ, CQ, CQ looks the same. The R1 has the call sign with my module, the D. But notice the R2 has my call sign with the G. That's the magic of the DR mode when you have use reflector. So that is um, very helpful in getting out over the gateway. Um, also, if you're on a hotspot, a Pi Star hotspot, local CQ will do the same thing. It will not get you out over the gateway. You'll hear the other stations coming in on the reflectors, but every time you key up, nothing happens. Nobody hears you. So I kind of recommend avoiding local CQ unless you're really aware that you're using it and realize that you're not going to be heard anywhere but that local repeater. Uh, Pi Star hotspots, you won't get out over the reflector. Uh, Open Spot 2 allows local CQ and it will transmit, but that's, a, that's the exception rather than the rule. So again, I'm not a huge fan of using local CQ. You can still talk on your local repeater with use reflector just fine. It doesn't hurt anything by having use reflector as your usual QSO mode, to put it another way. Anyway, moving along, going into the to select menu, we're used to the reflector option. And in the R and now the ICOMs focus solely on the REF reflector world. When you hit the reflector uh, option, blue key it, you have use reflector, link to reflector, unlink reflector, echo test if you want to check your audio on either your hotspot or a local repeater and repeater information uh, that will tell you if that repeater or your hotspot is connected to anything and what it might be connected to uh, i'm using my hotspot now let's say i forgot where i'm connected i can just load that in there by hitting the blue key and you'll notice it says repeater information in the to field with the letter i command i kerchunk it Okay, so it told me that I'm connected to REF03 out delta, and you also see the scroll on the screen indicate that I'm connected there. So now I know where I'm connected in case I had forgotten. Okay, if I go back to the two select field reflector, uh, one thing that we will do if we want to QSY to another reflector is we hit the link to reflector. Now the ICOM radio will show the last five reflectors that you link to in memory. And you can pick from one of those, which is a kind of a quick way to pick one. But oftentimes, you want to go to a reflector that's not in those five reflector groups. That's where you go into direct input. If you click the blue button while you're on direct input, a new menu comes up, the link to reflector menu. And the only choices you can make are a reflector number and a module. Those are the only enterable fields. The REF remains there. It does not. It, it's a fixed field that can't be changed. Unlike the Kenwood or the Kenwood, where you can change that from REF to XRF, DCS or XLX. Then you can change the middle field for the number and then you can change the module. I like that added feature with Kenwood. Uh, when I first got the ICOM radio, I was a little perplexed on how would I get to these other reflectors. Well, this video is going to show you how you can do that, among other things. Okay, you can simply dial up an REF reflector from this direct input menu. Uh, let's say you want to go to reflector 004 Charlie, for example. I've loaded it in there with the blue key. I kerchunk the radio. Open spot connected to REF004 Charlie. 
entirely. Okay. You get the audio connection indicating the connection as long as well as the scrolling at the bottom of the screen. Now one thing that's really cool when you do a link to reflector, there's actually a quicker way to go back to CQ, 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 use reflector. A lot of us might be going back to reflector, clicking on that, scrolling up to that and hitting use reflector, and that's a lot of button punching. Um, this is a nice shortcut. I'm going to pretend I'm back on link to reflector. Like so, we just had linked to the reflector. Well, it would be nice to be able to queue so quickly without having to make a bunch of button pushes. If you spin the VFO knob one click counterclockwise, it goes to use reflector. So you're ready to queue so. You spin the knob one more, repeater information. Spin the knob one more, echo test. Spin the knob one more, click Unlink Reflector. Link to Reflector. C -Q. Use Reflector. So when you do a Link Reflector, just one click counterclockwise from the Link to Reflector, like that. C -Q. You're ready for QSO. Okay. What about these XRFs and REFs, or I'm sorry, XRFs and XLXs and DCS reflectors? How can I make quick command transition over there? Well, there's a, another area where you can store your favorite reflectors, including those. You go into the two field to hit the blue key, and there's something here called your call sign. Okay your call sign. If you go into your call sign, you'll notice I have some stuff stored in there already. Okay. It has uh, four, about, maybe about 10 or 12 in there. I don't know. Maybe 15. Okay. Well, once you're in that menu, this is the area that you can store link commands. I'll give you an example. Now, some of them I've named as well as put the command in. For example, quadnet. If you look at the bottom of the screen, it says XRF757 alpha link. That is the command link to go to the quadnet. So if I highlight that and hit enter, See how it says XRF 757 Alpha Link? That's all I need in the two field in order to connect to that reflector. Open spot connected to XRF 757 Alpha. Okay. Remember the quick knob to use, to, uh, use reflector? Well, in this field, I also manually programmed a use reflector CQ CQ. So now I'm ready to QSO on that reflector. Okay, so all you have to do to program a use reflector is to go into the menu where you can enter memories there and store the command CQ CQ CQ, and that's it. You can even store. You can even store a command to link to a repeater from your hotspot or from another repeater. Okay, here's a command, W4RNT space BL. That is a link command to connect my hotspot to the Tampa W4RNT repeater B module, the 440 repeater in Tampa. So I can monitor that repeater through my hotspot and I can QSO on it. I load it up, hit enter, push to talk. Open spot connected to W4RNT Bravo. I'm connected to the repeater through my hotspot. Back to CQ. CQ. I'm ready to QSO or just monitor the repeater. Here's another example. 
I have loaded in the VK5 RWN repeater C module in Adelaide, South Australia. Great group of guys to talk to on that repeater. Friendly as all can be in Adelaide, Australia area. The command, as you can see at the bottom, is VK5 RWN CL for the C module and link. Kerchunk. Open spot connected to VK5 RWN Charlie. I'm connected. All I need is the CQ, CQ, CQ. One little click of the knob there, and I'm ready for QSO on that repeater. How cool is that? Well, let me show you how you can add any command. Okay. Oh, my goodness. It's the middle of the night here, and I guess it's a afternoon in Australia, and there's activity there. Anyway, let me get off that repeater. I don't want to tie it up or, or, or get in the middle of something for this video. So I'm going to go to 38 Delta. Nobody uses that. It should be quiet. Open spot connected to REF038 Delta. Okay. Spin the knob one click left. Counterclockwise. I'm ready for QSO if I want to there. Well, I'm going to show you how you can add a manual command of your favorite repeaters, favorite reflectors, and whatnot into your radio so that you can quickly access them. You tap the menu button, and you'll notice in the menu is something called DV Memory. You highlight that, hit the blue key. And in my last video, we went into repeater lists. That's where you can look at all of the repeaters that you have stored uh, in your DR memories. For this video, we're going to go to the Your Call sign. So, we highlight that, we hit the blue key. And here's a list of the various stored commands. Now, if it's your first command, obviously it'll be blank. But you can see... Uh, there's my list. Let's say we want to add another command. To do that, you hit the quick speech button and you have the option to add, edit, move, or maybe you want to delete one of those old commands because it's no longer something you want to keep. So, let's going to add one. Okay. Now, this kind of looks like the menu where you're doing a repeater or a DR memory. It starts off with the name. What I use for the name is really, or what you use for the name is optional here. Um, what I'm going to add is XRF002 Alpha, an X reflector. I can't remember who it's from, so I don't know what to name it, but you can name it whatever you want. Okay, I'm going to skip that for now. Call sign. This is where you store the magic command in order to go there. The command to link to X Reflector 002 Alpha is XRF 002 AL. Again, it's not the most uh, easy way to type or key in any information, but it does work. So I'm going to go through the VFO knob. I've got the EWX. R. Tab to the right with the CS key. F. Tab to the right. Numbers are usually going this direction, so there's a zero. Another zero. Now I need a number two for XRF002. And the module we'll put in is alpha. And the command to link there is always the L in the eighth character.
like so. So I enter that, hit the Enter key a second time, and there it is. But it isn't stored yet. I have to go down to Add Write. Then I hit the blue key again. Do I want to add write, yes or no? Well, I'm not going to change my mind now, so I'm going to hit yes. And there it is. It's now added to that long list. Just menu your way out. Go back to the your call sign. The very last one is the XRF002 Alpha. Hit enter. It's loaded in the two field. Quick kerchunk. Unkey. Open spot connected to XRF002 Alpha. Then all I have to do is spin the VFO knob until I find the CQCQ. -CQ -CQ. And I'm ready to queue so on that reflector. See how easy that was? Okay, one thing I forgot to mention because I'd already stored this is my recommendation in this Your Call Sign field. In the very top field, the very first memory, I recommend that you put Use Reflector CQ CQ CQ. The reason that is is it allows you to dial back when you're in this Your Call Sign mode. See how all these Your Call Signs are all that are coming up? If I didn't put it... Lima, X-ray, three, three, four, go, Lima. If I did not put the CQ, CQ, CQ over on that Your Call Sign area, I would have to go blue key, reflector, Reflector, use reflector, and then do that. A little bit more cumbersome. Imagine you're on an ID5100. Wouldn't it be nice just to be able to spin the VFO knob and get the CQ, 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 and you're just q selling? It's a lot easier than pushing the screen or tapping the screen or punching buttons while you're driving down the road. And it's really nice just to spin the knob real quick on the uh, handheld as well. Anyway, I'm going to go back to the DV um, memory and show you how I stored the in the year call sign, the CQ, CQ, CQ. Notice that I'm on page one, page two, page three, reach the end, you go down one more and you come back to the top. You'll notice it says you, your call sign. And you'll notice the command at the bottom, it says, is CQ, CQ, CQ. If I hit the quick speech button, I'm going to pretend like I'm going to edit it so you can see how I entered it. I typed out the words use reflector in the name, so that way it shows up as use reflector so I can quickly spot it. And then the command was nothing more than CQ, CQ, CQ. And I wrote it. I add write it, if that's a word. And there it is. And I make sure that it stays on the top. So I only add new commands below it so I can always get back to it. Now, you may want to add an unlink command in this area. You may want to add an echo command. You may want to add an information command. Not a problem. You can also add one of, the, uh, one of those each over here in the your call sign. In that case, you would just go to the quick search menu. I'm sorry, my mistake. The menu, DV memory, your call sign. Scroll down to where you want to slide the next command. Okay, let's say we want to do an unlink command over in this area. So that way all I have to do is spin the VFO knob and I'm there. I would go to quick speech, add, I would name it unlink, then I would put space seven times, go all the way to the right, like so. That's the eighth field. 
that's where you would put the letter U to unlink it. You enter it twice, and then you add right, and that's an unlink command. I'm not going to actually enter it because I am comfortable on a handheld doing it, but you can imagine how that would make it easy to do an unlink or whatnot just by spinning the VFO knob. Again, once you go into the your call sign, okay, here's an XLX reflector. Let's see if it works. Open spot connected to XLX three three four go. Okay. To move around, all I need to do is spin the knob until I find the CQ 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 and I'm ready for Q so. Just so you know, there is room in all of these ICOM radios, the 51, 31, 5100, and the 4100, and I believe the 9700. There's 200 slots available in that your call sign where you can create commands. That is probably more than you're ever going to need. And it makes it so easy to QSY to your favorite repeaters, your favorite reflectors, and whatnot, including X reflectors including XLX reflectors, including DCS reflectors, whatever you want to access in the D-Star gateway, you can program in there. Um, that pretty much covers it, but that is a really, really cool feature that I don't think gets enough, enough attention in these radios. I know some of us new D-Star operators are stuck in the REF world and using that REF menu that kind of traps you in that world. This is your way out of that world. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me at cq2meters at yahoo.com. And you're more than welcome to leave any comments down below. Well, that's the topic for today, and then it's time to say 73. So this is K9WLW.